Hello. This is Ruth also Burkirik, your facilitator for the course. I'd like to welcome you and wish you a happy travel experience with this online educational journey. In past classes, there were a few areas of confusion. I'd like to clear this up for you. Let's get started. When you first log in, you'll find an area with useful information and great interest to you. Here, you can check for any messages, actions needed, Accessing the Learning Center. This is actually a very important area. Use this. It is there for you. Each class should have some type of component here for you to review. These usually have live classes as well as videos and other information. Find your first week's reading. Just click and a PDF should open in a new window or tab. Check your contacts. Get to know your academic advisor. Use the self-service to check personal information, such as financial aid, grades, and degree audit. Access the classrooms. Once in the class, be sure to check all the new announcements. You'll find useful information here. You can select the plus sign to open each announcement separately or select the expand all to open all. To close, select the collapse all. Please note the chat with Ruth announcement. This is an instant chat feature which you can easily contact me if I am online. Be sure to change the guest name by clicking and typing your own. After all the announcements is an area to see what is new in the class based on what is selected in the See What's New Sense. On the left-hand side is all the class navigation. Here, you'll find software demonstrations. Do check this out. It could help you greatly. Descriptions and requirements. This area will explain what books, software, and hardware you'll need. Educational commitment statement. This is similar to the policy and procedure. Please note that in here, you'll find out about plagiarism and late work. Plagiarism is frowned upon. It is not tolerated. Stealing someone's work, whether intentional or not, is wrong. Cite your sources. If you read something in the lecture material, cite it, even if you change the words to your own. Check out the links in the announcements for more information. Late work is a deduction of 25% of the total score per day. Let me repeat that. 25% of the total score per day. Pay attention to due dates. Support. Any support you need, technical and emotional. I would suggest copying this information and pasting it where you can easily access it. Library and Tutoring Services. I love a good library. This one has great information, links, and tutorials available to use. Use them. Student Lounge. This is your area. I've also added Amiibo Classroom for anyone who is on at the same time for synchronous chatting. Get together and share a cup of coffee. Questions for the professor. This is for general class questions. If you have a specific topic for the week, ask in the problems and solutions for that week. Or Amiibo me if I'm online. Please read and respond. This is very important. Please go here. Read and respond. E-chapters. This is your first week's reading. Calendar. This is an academic calendar. You can print it out and add assignment due dates. Weekly lectures and assignments. Here, you'll find an overview of the week, lecture material. These lectures often have images and links to other information. Good stuff here. Also on the weekly lectures are assignment areas. 
These are very specific. Read all of the information and the grading rubric. Make sure you do what is asked. More than likely, you are asked to submit via the discussion board. Very simple. Select response, add text. I would suggest typing in Word and then copy and paste the information. Attach a document or image if requested in the submit. Please do not forget to add your references and cite your sources. When responding to another student, use the response feature and follow the same directions. Then submit. Please respond academically. I agree, it is nice, beautiful, are not academic responses, and points will be deducted or not awarded. There is a week, week three, when you will be using the Dropbox to submit your assignments. Select the Dropbox navigation, select the assignment, and, well, this should look familiar by now. There's also office hours. Mine are Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. If you do not know your time zone, Google it. To access the office hour, select the Live Navigation. Select the Class Live and then Join. If anyone comes to the office hour, these are recorded and you can access the archive by selecting the session date. There are two other areas to talk about here, the doc sharing and the webliography. Doc sharing is where I'll place any examples to the assignments or needed information. Webliography has links to help with more information you may need or wish to look at. We should be good to go now. I hope you have an enjoyable journey and a happy experience in the class. Remember, it is always better with a smile on your face. Good luck and please do not hesitate to ask me any questions. If I do not know the answer, I'll find someone who does.